Welcome back everyone. This is John, J&W Music. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a mid-60s DECA, uh, model number 127, made in Japan, acoustic guitar. Um, if anybody out there has any kind of information on these uh, DECA guitars, uh, please let us know. We don't know uh, much about it. Now this particular one does have a uh, steel truss rod in it. It's also labeled uh, there at the top of the kind of little, little truss rod uh, cover sticker there. Uh, but it does come with a uh, truss rod already inserted. Uh, just has some little rectangle as far as fret markers for some inlays and it's just a little kind of black sailor's pick guard on it there is uh, some binding and it is in really good shape for uh, how old it is uh, being about 50 years old or so um, and of course you can see that bridge kind of that harp style bridge that's that's on it as far as the the, the tail for the strings and then just has kind of a rosewood uh, uh, bridge and that's how I kind of harp stop tail. Uh, if anybody can kind of like I say give us some information on what uh, this guitar may be uh, made out of whether it's a spruce top spruce body um, those will of course be a rosewood uh, fretboard but again a DECA 127 uh, made in Japan uh, it looks like it's uh, made by the like Tesco company and uh, distributed um, by the DECA distributing company from New York uh, next we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, the side view here on the side view it does look to be uh, uh, spruce that would make up the body. But there again, if anybody has any information, uh, let us know. And it does have some pinstriping. It's not uh, binding, but it's kind of pinstriping painted on the side. And there's, of course, the glued in neck. On this particular model, there is no side markers for the neck. And it's a standard uh, dreadnought shape and of course there's a good look at the tuners on the side these are open machine heads that are on this particular model there you can see like I say some of the uh, pinstriping that's over the years has been uh, kind of worn off at the kind of stop tail there from the side view. All right, next everyone we'll go ahead and take a look at the back. All right, looking at the back, let's have a uh, good color on it, a little kind of some kind of uh, tobacco uh, kind of sunburst effect on the back. There again, looks like spruce. And even on the neck, kind of continue, kind of a little burst look. And there you can see the open tuners. And it's hard to make out, but right at the top of the headstock, it is stamped Japan uh, on it. So I thought that was one little cool little feature it had. Uh, and I do like the open tuners, uh, seeing those gears. And like I say, it's, it's got a good color on it, a good finish. I like how they carried over that kind of sunburst from the back of the body onto the neck. The next thing we'll do is go ahead and uh, take a listen to it. 
see how a 50 year old guitar sounds. Hey everyone, John back with you, J&W Music for the kind of sound demo of the DECA. This is the um, 127 mid 60s, uh, made in Japan. And like I say, it even says right there, as far as comes with a steel uh, truss rod built in. They were pretty proud of that. Went ahead and put a sticker on there just to show it. Um, just to hear kind of the clean sounds of it. You know, be good right around the campfire. Like I say, it's 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 held up really well uh, for being, you know, say 50 years old. So, like I say, for what you could do with it, you know, like I say, just to go around with your friends and sing Kumbaya, you know, it's a really good guitar. say for anybody to just kind of tool around you know just to have fun with it you know you know it's a good little guitar like I say you know the color on it the fit and finish of it you know they they really did some quality uh, back then like I say if you like the kind of the harp um, tail piece on it too um, it stays in tune. Like I say, it still has the, you know, even the open geared tuners on it too. So, like I say, real good guitar for, you know, being 50 years old. Something that you can definitely, it's a little bit of a beater, so you can definitely take it, you know, to the campsite and, uh, you know, have no problems with it. So, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, you guys, we'll see you next time. Stop dreaming, start playing.